I'm going to tell you 5 things I would do if I became a graphic designer today. And a real quick, this advice is coming from a multi-talented freelance graphic designer with 8 years of experience in the industry. So the little I've learned in this period is what I like to share. With that said, let's jump right in. The very first thing I would do if I became a graphic designer today is to be a good listener and ask questions when necessary. Oh yes, this is where many beginners fail. It happens for a fact that you may think you've known all and you quickly say yes to a client's brief when you don't understand the brief yet. Of course, the brief is your guide and you ought to listen to your clients cause they actually know what they need and all you have to do is to bring it to reality. You will save your time and the time of your client as well when you listen to your client and ask questions when you don't understand anything in the brief. Most design beginners who don't listen to their clients gives their clients lots of headache and then it sends a red flag to their client and this means they may likely not work with you again next time. Next on my list, learn to build a post-project relationship with your clients. Yes, that's number two. So you've landed a new client and you completed a project and you close the project just like that. Nope, it's not just the best idea. Believe that every client can be a potential client. They will always come back for more projects or probably refer you to other clients. So ensure to always close every project in good terms with your clients. This will make them happy and free to contact you next time for more projects. You don't have to be too official at every time. Sometimes just call or send a message across to your clients and ask about how they are faring or you can ask about their families as well. This sends a signal to your client about how much you care and feel concerned about them and they will always connect with you every time. Next on my list, learn to say no when necessary. So you see, not every project are just worth it. You just have to say no to some projects, especially if there are projects you are not willing to take on at a specific amount of time. Just say no. I'm saying this cause I've embarked on some projects in the time past that I started processing and during my conversation with my clients, I spot some signs that this project is not the best for me. And most times I end up regretting and wish I had said no. Some projects can cause you headache if you don't learn to say no when necessary. The fourth one on my list, never be quick to accept an offer. In other words, learn to negotiate. If you spot a job offer you feel the payment is not okay for you, kindly negotiate with your clients. And there are great ways to do that without losing your clients. Most designers jump so fast to accept a job offer that they end up regretting later. Carefully analyze a project work and set a perfect price range and negotiate with your clients. And always do this before you embark on any project. Last but not the least, do not design for free. Yes, it's not always the best idea to design for free as it may send bad signals to your business and may end up ruining your business. Now, this excludes the fact that you should always give your clients discounts, especially when it has to do with your potential clients. You can always surprise them sometimes. But in general, you shouldn't design for free so it won't send a bad impression to your clients and they may likely think you are just a cheap graphic designer. And when it has to do with a family member, always let them know the original price you charge and then let them know how much you have chosen to give them as discount. Or better still, you tell them to save the payment and let them know you will charge next time. But quote me right, never design for free. So these are the 5 things I would do if I became a graphic designer today. Like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe if you have not done that yet. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace.